put uh, President Zuma's presence everywhere in the country, in our political life. Uh, the NEC have directed that uh, we will reflect on President Zuma and the statements he have made uh, and uh, his endeavors to launch or to establish MK Party, which has been registered as a political party. We will deal with that matter at length and in depth at the right at the right moment. There are a lot of things that have been said every day, some which we believe are distortions and are far from the truth, but uh, we're not going to respond in snippets. Our constitution is very clear. There is no two parties. There is no party called MK existing in our name uh, through somebody who want to be a savior of the party or a messiah. There is no such. In the ANC, you resolve your issues in the party. We have had difficulties over time through different epochs and periods of transition and all of that. That has actually happened. So this thing is not new. When people were disgruntled, uh, were not happy about President Zuma, they went to form COPE. Uh, when people don't agree with President Ramaphosa, they form MK. I don't know when me and Mathingi become president, uh, what will they be disgruntled about and what will they form? So uh, that has happened uh, in the life of this organization. Uh, and COPE today is dead, basically. Uh, many members have come back to the ANC. Very few are still on the other side. Um, so the ANC remains. The ANC does not belong to Mbalula. It does not belong to President Ramaphosa. And there's no ANC of Ramaphosa. There's no ANC of Tabombeki. There's no ANC of Mandela. There's ANC of our ancestors, which will remain for many generations to come. We talk renewal because it's either we adapt or die. At a given point in time, we commit mistakes, and then we say to our people who have heard from the path we're following, and then we are on the path of renewal. In our last manifesto, in the last election, the reason why people voted us, we said to them, we admit that in the past 10 years, you have given us this opportunity to lead. We have heard, we have veered off the path of what is expected in terms of the values of the ANC. Give us another chance. We are embarking on the, on the process of renewal, which is what uh, uh, we have done uh, as an organization. So we are on the path of renewal, and that is it. Uh, any distortions politically that have been peddled out there, we are going to respond to them at an appropriate time. And uh, it's not that uh, we will leave them hanging and uh, not respond. We will respond. And uh, all what we are saying to our members, let's focus on the task. Let's focus on the task. The task at the end is the liberation of our people from poverty. The fight against crime. Uh, to ensure that there are jobs in this country. The people of South Africa will not vote for the ANC because we had a squabble with uh, President uh, Jacob uh, Zuma. The people of South Africa are going to vote for the ANC because we fought load shedding, we fought state capture, we fought corruption, and uh, we create jobs. That's what the people of South Africa want. The people of South Africa do not want us to come to Moses Mabid, I mean to come to uh, this wonderful stadium to celebrate. And then the manifesto or the January 8th statement is Jacob Zuma. They are not interested in that. President Zuma himself has had his time as president. He can go look at his own track record and praise himself. That I've done this, I've done that. He did the things that he did, that he did, because of those were ANC policies. Where he has had weaknesses, the ANC has suffered. Has suffered dearly. EFF rose from a mere party of no percent to 10 percent during his tenure as the president. Because of Nganla, because of 
a state capture and the Guptas and became a bigger party. So that is what has happened. They disrupted parliament and then that is it. And then their numbers increased. They even in that process called themselves uh, people who could be looked at as people of superior logic because they won cases. And then they were affirmed that the ANC is on the wrong side and all of that. So we are from there. And the ANC was always there. And we endured the pain and the suffering as a party. Now we are out of that. The people want renewal from the ANC. Anyone has got the right to form a political party. And by the way, let me take you to confidence. Nkonto Wesizwe is a trademark of the ANC. It's well known. Even if you can camouflage it, do anything, it belongs to the ANC. So when we fight for our symbols and our assets, we are not fighting anybody. You've got the right to form your party, your disgruntlement, call it whatever you call it, but they leave our assets. And uh, if you take our assets, legally we will challenge them. And that's what uh, we are going to do and we are doing as the ANC uh, on that particular matter per se of Umkonto Wesizu as a party. So I'm saying uh, we have given them a letter of demand. They've responded in the way they've de responded, but we are moving ahead in relation to, to the matter itself. So for us, uh, we have been quite keen to engage with President Zuma uh, because we've got no issues as a party, as the African National Congress, with President Zuma. And uh, we would love... Uh, uh, to, to have engaged him before he took those steps that he have taken. But now that he has taken the steps he has taken, we've got to respond to that. At the right time, at an appropriate moment, we will respond, most definitely. For all our members, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, good people of the ANC will remain with their organization. And the masses of our people too, I've always understood the ANC as their vehicle. And that is why we as leaders of the ANC, we have just been privileged to lead. But this does not belong to us. Tomorrow I can be out of this, there will be others who come and even do better. Or I can even do better in what I am going forward. And uh, that's it. It's a relay. But for now the task is renewal. Renewal or death. And that's what we are about. So that's why we are here in Pumalanga. Uh, to do this work uh, as we come down. You will see our program. Join us wherever we will be and so on. Uh, we're not chasing anyone. Everyone anywhere in the country have got the right to do what they want. Uh, but I'm saying to you, when Mbeki was removed as a president, angry ANC members went to form COPE. Uh, they were dissatisfied about President Zuma. And then uh, they formed COPE. President Zuma today tells us that uh, he's not happy about President Ramaphosa. He formed MK. We don't know what will follow tomorrow when somebody else comes in to lead the African National Congress. But we have survived. We have survived. It's only now where we see that uh, there is a convoluted alliance uh, of moonshoot against the ANC. And there is another one, President Zuma call it the Patriotic Alliance or Front. Do. I don't know. He calls it Patriotic Front. Uh, so we look at them, but uh, we remain firm. And our president is President Ramaphosa, and he will lead us in this campaign. He will lead us uh, going forward. Uh, president Zuma, in terms of his membership of the ANC, will respond at an appropriate time. But uh, you must go and read the Constitution of the ANC, Rule 25. What does it say? Uh, in terms of members of the ANC who undertake activities uh, that President Zuma has undertaken. So we are all members. We are equal before the ANC Constitution. So there is no supreme leader in the ANC. Even Ramaphosa is not a supreme leader. If Ramaphosa commit mistakes, it's because the ANC have allowed him as a person. We are all accountable as a collective, not an individual. Where we are faltering, we are making mistakes, we are not. The ANC all the time takes, 
time to pause and reflect. January 8 is about that. It's to listen and not run around and not listen to yourself. You listen even to your critics, the people who don't like you and all of that. You listen to them because there is truth at the end in what they say. Uh, if we are slower in certain areas, we need to listen to that. And as a party like we have met now, map a clear way forward and then say in terms of the January 8, which January 8 is marching orders, what do we need to our deploys in government to all our members? What do they need to do uh, in terms of government, uh, wherever we are deployed and wherever we are, in terms of accelerating a uh, social transfer, transformation? So uh, we are at peace with everyone. So we, we, we'd love to engage. Uh, unfortunately, we did not have that opportunity to engage with our elder, our uh, leader, uh, former leader, uh, who at any given point in time, like all leaders of the ANC, convene us from time to time uh, to engage us. Here are the issues and so on uh, that we need uh, to talk about and so on. Uh, you know, we are disappointed but not shocked. Disappointed because uh, we expected elders to be the ones who give guidance. They don't have to belong to structures. So answering your question, President Zuma doesn't have to be a member of the NEC to call me to his house and uh, tell me what he thinks, how he feels. President Mbeki doesn't have to, to be here. President Khalima doesn't have to be here. Simanga or whoever doesn't have to be here. They've got the right to convene us anytime and tell us what they think. If they so feel they can even come here, we'll give them a slot. But uh, President Zuma is an ex-officio member, but uh, because of the challenges he faced of the case and all of that, even before we came in, the invitation was curtailed at that moment when uh, he was uh, uh, arrested and uh, convicted. So there's not been any invitation to him to come to the NEC. But even then, we accorded him the status of an elder of the ANC. Who doesn't have to belong? Even anyone can come to the rally on Sunday and all of that. They will not be dismissed yet. So uh, uh, these are elders of the African National Congress and that they belong to our organization. And that's what is important. So you don't have to... These people have joined the ANC in uh, some of them. And uh, he will probably say to you, I don't need a membership to be a member of the ANC. I'm a member, even if this and that happens. But we are guided by the Constitution. The center must hold. The discipline is to all members. So in this particular instance, you've got a choice to make up your mind, uh, to be here or to go.